Our 31st project was French artist Xavier Leroy, together with his partner Scarlett. It was at Carriage Works in November 2015. Xavier was one of the artists who presented in 13 rooms. And his work was really a very moving, very mysterious work. And he was the only international artist who came to Sydney as he had a project in Hong Kong. So it wasn't difficult for him to come over. So we became friends during 13 rooms. And I found him a fascinating person, a very interesting artist. He came to art quite late in his career. He's got a doctorate in nuclear and molecular biology and was a researcher in a French uh, medical institute. But he really disliked it as they didn't let him research the areas that he was interested in. All they wanted him to do was to publish papers. He decided that that's not for him. He said as a child, as a young man, he was always very athletic, and he took up dancing, initially as a hobby. But then it became full-time, it became his life, his art. He was actually the dancer who mentored and instructed Tino Segal in his early career. Because he came to art, his art, later in life, it was very, very different. It wasn't really dance. It was designing spaces, working with people, creating what he called landscapes of movement. The way I saw it, it was more a sculpture than a choreography. So one thing led to another, and I asked him if he would be interested to do a solo project. And he said, yes, very much so. We looked at a number of sites, and we found three Second World War large oil tanks that were camouflaged in the bush at the edge of Mossman Heights during World War II. Wonderful spaces that have been partially restored by the Sydney Foreshore Authority, and we could have used them. And Zavi and I love them, but Mossman Heights was logistically very difficult to access. So we decided to use carriage works which had all the equipment and facilities for rehearsal and for showing the work. If 20 years ago, 15 years ago, they would have asked me that you're going to work with a choreographer, I would have said, you're out of your mind. We're about visual arts, we're not about dance. But that's the great advantage of an organization such as ours that we're absolutely flexible. We are flexible where we do the project and we're flexible what we do. And I really felt that Xavier's work would very much fit into what we wanted to achieve to fit into our story. And Xavier himself describes his work not as a performance, but as an exhibition. That you don't have to be there at the start, you don't have to wait till it finishes. You come and go as in an exhibition. It started with Xavier recruiting performers. They were not all dancers. Many of them were artists with whom we worked before, men, women, young and old. And Xavier showed them films, movements. Those who were dancers, he really wanted to retrain as his movements, gestures, were all very different. He told me that he would need three weeks of rehearsal for three days of exhibition, which I found the wrong way around. If you're going to have three weeks of rehearsal, 
that to me was a great waste. Why not somehow let the public in? And Xavier and I agreed to have a number of open rehearsals where the public could come and watch how the work progressed. Xavier agreed and found it a very interesting experience, a very positive one, because it gave a feedback to Scarlett and him as they were developing the work. We had school children, we had professional dancers, we had all kind of people come and look at the rehearsal, as it was a much more intimate way of experiencing the work than the final product. From the beginning, Xavier told the performers that the work will be shown noon, and everybody accepted it. And it caused no embarrassment, no problem, either for the dancers or for the public. What was interesting, and again, that was a new innovation of Xavier, that individual performers broke away from the performance and went over to engage with the audience and start a conversation. They were given very banal sentences, usually such as, have you ever been in love? Or what does it feel like to be in love? Just to start a conversation. I found amusing that the nude performers were quite relaxed talking to the fully closed audience. It's the audience that felt embarrassed talking to the nude performers. The exhibition was on for three days and we had wonderful crowds coming to carriage works. We had an education program to go with it. Xavier gave talks and it was a very different, very unusual project for us. The work that Xavier created for us, Travelled, was shown at the Pompidou Museum in Paris and later on in Germany, and Xavier invited a number of the original Australian performers to be part of it, who travelled to Paris and then also to Germany. Xavier is one of the artists that I keep in touch with. Xavier and Scarlett live in Berlin and they have a wonderful two-year-old son now called Zico. <laughs>